Hello, I'd like to welcome all of you to the graduation ceremony of the Dayton High School class of 2020. Administrators, teachers, fellow students, and family and friends, I'm sure glad to even just have this parade to say a final farewell to high school. Even if we did not expect our senior year to turn out as crappy as it did, just to not have enough toilet paper to wipe it all back up. But this is not why we're solely here today. We are not solely here to look at what has befallen us. We are here to reflect on what has happened and to grow from it. One of my favorite quotes being from Robert Schuller, failure is not the falling down, it's the refusal to get back up. And due to the coronavirus, we have all fallen in one way or another. But we all must rise together and get stronger together. Like how many of my fellow classmates, including myself, are looking forward to spring sports, starting from summer practices and just hoping for it to come. But we just had KHSAA cancel all spring sports. But most of us, if not all of us, haven't let that fact weigh us down. Most of us that are continuing to college sports have continued to work out for those sports. Other of us have gotten jobs a lot sooner than we would have if we could have played sports. But enough of what has happened. It's time to look towards the future, something that we should all be looking forwards to. Because I know from freshman year, the third day, half of us couldn't wait for it. And as many people have said and many people will say, we have only reached the end of our beginning. And they're right, we have our whole lives ahead of us. And because of all the people who have helped us reach this point, being family, friends, and teachers, they will also help us throughout life so that we may be successful. But something that I myself have become aware of, and it's something that all of my fellow classmates should become aware of, is to be successful, it's gonna be a long and hard road. We will most likely, if not on the very often occasion, make many mistakes. But we cannot let that make us afraid to try because every opportunity not taken is an opportunity missed. Take for example the Amazon Fire Phone, a product the wealthiest man on earth was trying to create, but it failed. He wrote off $170 million for it to not take off. But has this stopped him from trying, from creating new and innovating ideas? No, of course not. If he did, it, he wouldn't be worth $169.9 billion. But in a few words, some of the important things that we should all absorb from what I have said are this. First of all, we cannot be afraid to take the leap of faith. We cannot be afraid to make the mistake because that's not what being a failure is. Being a failure means you've fallen down and just gave up, refusing to just try again. And just because a mistake is made once, twice, three times, or more than that, doesn't mean you just give up. You have to try again. And from the four years that I have gone to school with all of you all, that is not what we do. Thank you. One day, you're 17 and you're planning for someday. And then quietly, without ever really noticing, someday is today. I open with this quote, because today is the day we start our lives. We're no longer kids and everything's officially changed. Growing up, graduation seemed like such a far away thing. Um, I never knew just how quickly these years would go by and how fast we would grow up. We started with our elementary years where everything seemed such a long shot and far away. And then we went to our awkward middle school phase. And now we're ending with our just as awkward high school phase. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who supported me through the years and helped me be who I am today. Without my family, friends, and faculty, I wouldn't be who I am. To my fellow seniors, I know we didn't get the ideal senior year. We didn't get a final prom, some didn't get their last day of a game, and we didn't get a normal graduation. With all of this though, we've pushed through, and I believe if we can survive this pandemic, we can survive anything life throws at us. Although I've talked to literally five of you, not that open, I think I can't wait to see what you guys do in the future. And if you guys need anything, I'm only a text away. I end my speech with a quote by Michael Jordan. I failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. I believe no matter how many times we'll get pushed back, class of 2020 will always get back up. Thank you. 
When receiving their diplomas, those students wearing gold scarves have completed the academic course of study and have earned a 3.5 GPA or higher in those courses. Those wearing red, white, blue cords have been members of the Drug-Free Clubs of America for three years, including their senior year. Those wearing blue and gold cords have completed four credits in visual and performing arts. Those wearing silver cords have completed a technical school program of study. Those wearing black and red cords are qualifying members of Educators Rising. Those wearing red and yellow cords have completed three credits of a foreign language and have earned an 80% average or higher in those courses. Those wearing red cords have donated blood two times in their high school career and or assisted in organizing a blood drive. Those wearing white cords have met ACT benchmarks and are considered college or academic ready. Those wearing green cords have earned business or industry certifications and are considered career ready. Those wearing black cords have enlisted in a branch of the U.S. military and are considered military ready. Those wearing purple cords have completed four semesters of dual credit college courses and have made a 2.5 GPA or higher in those courses. Those wearing the blue stools are members of the National Honor Society who have maintained an average of 90% or higher for four years and have met their community service and other requirements. Those students have maintained a 90% average or higher for all four years of high school and are graduating with honors will receive honor pins with their diplomas. What is your life goal? My life goal is just to live happy and doing what I want to. It might seem like it doesn't matter in the short run, but I promise you it does because if you try in the beginning, it'll make your life a lot easier. My favorite quote is, the past can hurt, but you can either run from it or learn from it. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. You can catch flies with honey, but you catch more honey by being fly. Life goal. My life goal is um, to eventually I, I'm going into the Army, so eventually after that I would like to go into the FBI and um, just fight for our freedom and justice and take care of my loved ones and all of you.
your advice for all the class? Do your best at school. Don't even worry about anything else. Just try your hardest. Become a police officer. My life goal is to attend NKU. I am currently undecided, but I am going to try and go to accounting to major in. Words of wisdom. Never get up and keep going. My favorite quote is, new endings open new beginnings. Words of wisdom. I never lose, I always win or learn. My advice for underclassmen would be know what you want to do early so you can find the dedication to want to succeed now. Words of wisdom. My words of wisdom would be treat people the way that you want to be treated. My favorite quote would have to be from The Office by Andrew Bernard. It, it, it says, don't forget that you're in the good old days while you're actually in them. Your only limit is your mind. Favorite quote. Life is like a dark tunnel. You can't always see the light at the end, but if you keep going, you'll arrive at a better place. Slow down, you're doing fine. You can't be everything you want to be before your time.
A life goal is to make my family proud, to build more quality relationships, learn more and travel more. Advice for underclassmen, work hard and also just don't let anyone get in your way. Advice for underclassmen. Always uh, go for your dream, don't be a slacker. Just even if it's a struggle, don't don't doubt yourself. Advice for underclassmen. Um just know that like, no matter what you're going through, uh, it's always worth seeing the other side. It's called perseverance, and you can make it through anything. Life goes better in your head, so don't think everything through. Um, don't be afraid to change because even though you may lose something good, you will gain something better. Words of wisdom. Everything happens for a reason. Advice for underclass. Be who you want to be, not who other people want you to be. If I could give any words of wisdom to anybody, it would honestly be just to be yourself and to be who you are and try to be happy. Words of wisdom. My words of wisdom would be uh, good things come to those who wait. It's not about perfection, it's about patience. Uh, just be grateful to enjoy your life at its fullest potential. Words of wisdom. My words of wisdom are that you can do anything in life as long as you put your mind to it. If you believe in yourself, you can follow your dreams and they can make you the happiest you've ever been. Um, don't procrastinate, always get stuff done when you need to or else it'll end up coming back for you.
My words of wisdom is you have to dance a little bit every day because it changes the way you walk. Favorite quote? Live a life you will remember. Just do not procrastinate because that is probably the worst thing that you can do. Words of wisdom. My words of wisdom are life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of what you make of it. Be involved, do sports, do clubs. It makes high school a lot better. My life goal is to graduate college, that's the first part. And then I want to be able to travel the world, do whatever I want to do, with in 30 years, 20 years, as soon as possible, just be able to retire and have a good life afterwards. Words of wisdom. Start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Uh, keep trying, don't ever give up. Eventually you'll get to where you want to be. Don't hang out with people that don't have dreams for themselves or throw yourself off track. Favorite quote. My favorite quote is by Abraham Lincoln and it says you can't predict the future, you can only create it. Whatever you're stressing or anxious about isn't always as bad as you've imagined, so take it easy and enjoy the ride. Advice for underclassmen. Continue to push through all the bad things in your life and don't let anyone define you. Favorite quote? 
Never regret anything that made you smile, Mark Twain. Uh, to do my 20 years in service, um, become a sergeant, and while going to school, to become a physical trainer. Life goal, uh, to own my own house, have my own family, and to take care of everyone that I love, and to protect anyone from dying again. Um, just do your best and push through it because in the end, this is just all for you. Um, do what makes you happy, even if it goes against social norms. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom, I would say, don't sweat the little things. Uh, a lot of things will come at you, it'd be very stressful. I'd say just take it slow, take it one at a time, and do your best. Sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory by Dr. Seuss. A life goal. My life goal is go to college and do my dream job as a cop. Work hard in school, be good, and stay out of trouble. Favorite book? Your future self is watching you right now through memories. Words of wisdom. Uh, don't take anything for granted. Um, always work hard and uh, try your best at everything. As chairman of the Dayton Board of Education, it gives me great pleasure to confer upon you your high school diploma. And now I am pleased to declare you graduates of Dayton High School for 2020.